I want to go across to Sushmita there first on why Mamta Banerjee and the Trinamool is so disappointed with the Congress. Why is it that you decided not to attend uh, the December 6 meeting that Malikarjun Kharge, the Congress president, had, had called? And what impact do you think the defeat of the Congress at the hands of the BJP in the Hindi heartland might have on the India alliance? Uh, let me put all speculations at rest. Uh, Mamta Banerjee, Chief Minister of Bengal, is herself on record saying that she uh, didn't have uh, information uh, uh, at, on a, at a time when she was already making her programs and not Bengal. So had she had more notice, she would have been there and she's reiterated that the next meeting, which is likely to be in the end of December, she will be uh, attending it. So I don't think uh, we need to speculate anything uh, further on this issue. Secondly, the, about the results of the last five states, uh, uh, obviously you win some and you lose some. But I think to write off the India Alliance and its prospects for 2024 is still very early. And let me rely on what happened in these state elections. Everybody felt that the Congress would uh, uh, probably win Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. And BJP managed to turn it around, however they did it. But what I'm saying is that itself tells you that no matter what the situations, if you're focused on the right issues and the right strategy, you can turn around an election. No doubt, there's very little time. There's very little time and the work, um, uh, we have to be working on a war footing. That is also something uh, Abhishek Banerjee has said on record yesterday, that the time is very short for you to realize that and work on a war footing to make sure that the seat sharing is done, our common agenda is out there in the public, and we must have a proper strategy in place state-wise. Okay. Uh, uh, KC Tyagi ji, Nitish Kumar ne bhi kaha ki wo nahi aap aayenge 6 December ki meeting ko aakhir kaar meeting hi taal di gai. क्या आपको लगता है कि कांग्रेस की इस बड़ी हार के बाद इंडिया अलायंस पूरा बिखर जाएगा तितर बितर हो जाएगा या आपको लगता है कि चूंकि कांग्रेस को एक तरीके से अकल ठिकाने आई है पहले ज्यादा उड़ रहे थे अब समझ में आया कि उनकी वास्तविकता क्या है तो हो सकता है कि अब थोड़ा रीजनेबल अप्रोच के साथ बैठे आप लोगों के साथ और कोई ठीक ठाक बात हो अलायंस सीट शेयरिंग पर और आगे कैसे बढ़ना है इस पर बिखरेगा या बढ़ेगा के साथ चलने की आवश्यकता इसलिए भी है कि जो हमारा विपक्ष है वो बहुत मजबूत है उनका नेता कश्मीर से कन्याकुमारी तक लोकप्रिय है हमने उनके साथ 40-45 साल काम किया है जनसंघ के टाइम से हम उनकी वीकनेस भी स्ट्रेटजी भी और उनकी एसेट्स भी सब जानते हैं उनसे बढ़िया पार्टी मजबूत पार्टी आज किसी के पास नहीं है लिहाजा जो हम लोगों ने नीतीश कुमार ने जो सबसे पहले फॉर्मूला कहा था वो ये था कि वन अगेंस्ट वन लगभग साढ़े चार सौ के करीब सीटें ऐसी थी राहुल जी जहां पर इंडिया घटक दलों के बीच में विवाद नहीं था थोड़ा बहुत विवाद पंजाब को लेकर के पश्चिमी बंगाल को लेकर के केरला को लेकर के और दिल्ली को लेकर के था केजरीवाल जी स्वयं कई अवसर पर मुझको भी कहा कि मैं कांग्रेस पार्टी के साथ सीटों की तालमेल को तैयार हूं नीतीश कुमार का ही प्रस्ताव था वरना थर्ड फ्रंट बन रहा था अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ अखिलेश यादव चंद्रशेखर राव ये अपना ममता बनर्जी एंड अरविंद केजरीवाल पिछले साल सितंबर के महीने में नीतीश कुमार ने कहा कि कांग्रेस पार्टी के बगैर कोई सार्थक विकल्प नहीं बन पाने का हमें अफसोस है कि विधानसभा चुनाव में वो स्प्रिट कांग्रेस ने नहीं दिखाई न किसी नेता से घटक दल वालों से संपर्क किया न किसी को कैंपेन में शामिल किया जिसका बुरा नतीजा यह निकला आज अगर चार राज्यों में कांग्रेस पार्टी की सरकार रही होती तो 2024 की लड़ाई और अच्छी और रोचक दिखती थी नंबर एक नंबर दो कल 6 दिसंबर है कल अंबेडकर जयंती है सरकारों की छुट्टियां होती हैं और हमारी पार्टियां तो यू भी सोशल जस्टिस की पार्टी है डॉक्टर अम्बेडकर का हमारी जिंदगी में भी और हमारे वर्गो में भी विशेष स्थान है तो ऐसे दिन क्यों मीटिंग रखनी चाहिए ये कहीं ना कहीं कांग्रेस पार्टी के जो नीति निर्धारक हैं उनके बिहार पे ये जल्दबाजी में लिया गया निर्णय था 
जहाँ तक फ्यूचर की बात है कांग्रेस पार्टी को बहुत समझदारी के साथ अब चलना होगा जो उनके आधार क्षेत्र वाले इलाके थे उसमें चुनाव निमट गया वोट उनको बहुत मिली है ऐसा कोई कमी नहीं है लेकिन अब उत्तर प्रदेश में अखिलेश यादव के नेतृत्व में बिहार में आरजेडी जेडीयू और उसके संयुक्त नेता नीतीश कुमार के नेतृत्व में पश्चिमी बंगाल में ममता दीदी के नेतृत्व में चेन्नई में स्टालिन के नेतृत्व में महाराष्ट्र में शरद पवार और okay. जो सहयोगी पार्टी है शिवसेना उसके नेता उद्धव ठाकरे को आगे रख करके रणनीति बनानी पड़ेगी लावन्या बलाल यू जस्ट हर्ड फ्रॉम द सीनियर जेडीयू लीडर यू डू नॉट शो रिस्पेक्ट योर एलाइज did not invite allies to the campaign the likes of eknath chinde were invited by the bjp to come and campaign for them in the in the heartland you didn't show that kind of respect did not consult the opposition leaders randomly decided to call a meeting on the 6th of december without consulting with leaders and they basically telling the congress where to get off they're not willing to come for your meetings good evening rahul uh, all the uh, partners of india alliance are very senior politicians and very Uh, mature politicians are seasoned politicians and come from big uh, political parties i'm sure they all understand as i've heard two of my fellow panelists say they are aware of the success and the losses in elections and they are also aware uh, of the meeting that was called and yes it was a short notice and that's why some of the leaders will not be able to attend this meeting called on december 6th but at this point of time the india alliance is strong and there's no problem within the india alliance and it stays that way but uh, all of the, uh, there are multiple opposition uh, leaders not the india alliance other opposition leaders who would love to see congress shattered congress to be brought down by a peg or two and we have very famously heard of the congress mukt bharat multiple times but that's not going to happen anytime soon 20 years ago we faced a similar situation where we lost exactly the same three states but we won the mp elections right after that and we formed the government in 2004 so all is not lost yes it is an alliance that means there will be a difference of opinion uh, i'm sure all the leaders will agree that it is uh, for the good of the nation to join hands ajay look you must be delighted agreed. with the fact that the india allies are now struggling to come together they already seem to be quite upset with the congress calling them arrogant saying they didn't consult serves you right and they basically through the decision that they've taken of not attending on the 6th uh, snubbing the congress and telling the congress where to get off uh look rahul uh we are no one to be concerned about this india alliance whatever do they do it's their problem but looking at their statements the statements made by arvind kejriwal just after the results and aam aadmi party that we are the now after bjp we are the largest party in the hindi heartland and in north india made by mamta didi that how can i go i was not consulted i don't even know i have program for my north bengal for 6 days nitish kumar i am not well i will not go and blah 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 others akhilesh yadav and all everyone you know i just remind i am just reminded of uh, an old saying in hindi heartland narko mein thelam thel so there is fighting in the hell also that's what happening with the india lies so i am actually not really concerned about what i'm concerned about here is the congress party still after this drabble they have not mend their ways now i was seeing going through twitter handle of congress party this says that hame bjp se charo rajya mein 10 lakh vote zyada mila very nice i have we got 40% vote very good and from today morning every leader of congress party is saying there is a, there is a problem with the evm we must have a relook we should go back to uh, ballot paper I mean, how can you say these two contradictory statements at the same time? Congress is just not ready to accept the fact that the defeat is permanent only if you keep it in mind. Why go back 20 years? Why remember 2003 and then 2004? Remember just 2018, where we lost all the three Vidhan Sabha, and in 2019 we swept everything. Now, if I, I very much claim that okay, last time it was not. 100% of the seats but this time i'm claiming we'll be gaining everything out of you so this is the problem of the congress party that you don't figure it out yourself that where you are committing mistakes you are contradicting yourself because you are confused you don't know what's the next step for 